Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's world, we've had to switch and change a lot of things to virtual that we used to do face to face. And that can be kind of intimidating, let alone knowing what to wear, how to wear your hair, how to do your makeup and all that stuff. So I thought I would show you a pretty much fool's proof way on how to do your makeup that's simple yet neutral that's professional and I feel like can be good for pretty much any virtual Zoom or Facebook meeting you may have. So stay tuned and let's get into it. Okay, I have my foundation on. All I added was this first. I did a Mary Kay foundation primer and my foundation. This is the Mary Kay Time Wise Matte 3D foundation. These two these two together are awesome. I have several foundation videos that I've done about finding your correct shade, how to apply a flawless foundation look and all that stuff. So I can leave those linked below. Check those out if you want. Now, obviously I will fix my hair. I like to have it pulled back when I do my makeup. Depending on what Zoom or virtual event that you're going to, depends, you know, do you want it more bold? Do you want it more natural? I'm going to do more natural colors, nothing too bam crazy colorful, so I'm going to do natural colors. Um, but with the naturals, things do not show up as well on camera, so you need to build those naturals up and make it a little bit more bold with using the naturals. So I'll kind of show you how I'm going to do that. Um, but all I have is foundation on. Things on camera show up kind of funny, but I want my eyes to appear really bright and awake. So I'm going to take some concealer and kind of brighten up my under eyes and my face just a little bit. Okay, already I feel like that just really brightened up my face. But like I said, things do not show up on camera as well. So I'm gonna take some contour and just really define my face and sculpt it so people can see it on camera as well. I'm just taking my contour there. Now don't worry, <laughs> this looks like a lot. This is very blendable, so I'm just gonna blend it out. Blend, blend, blend. All right, can you see the difference between this side and this side? It just looks more sculpted. That's what I'm looking for. So much better. Next I'm gonna take my bronzer right here with this fluffy brush and I'm just gonna kind of dust it over what I just did. Okay, so next I'm gonna take my translucent powder. This is great, it sets everything in place makes it so you don't look super shiny or greasy, especially on camera. I'm just taking my damp beauty blender and I'm applying it just where I have the concealer. I don't like to put powder on top of powder on top of powder because I feel like it, it like makes you look cakey in my opinion. So I just added contour and bronzer and normally I'd add brush, normally I'd add blush as well before doing this uh, step with the translucent powder, but I'm actually gonna be using cream blush. So I'm doing this first. So I'm gonna let that sit and just set for a minute while I do my brows. And then I will take a fluffy brush and wipe off the excess powder 
I'm just gonna blend it all over my face. But while that's setting, I'm gonna take my, I just do the cap. I'm gonna take my Precision Brow Liner. Again, Mary Kay, this is all Mary Kay. Mary Kay is my favorite brand. And I am just going to go in and just define my brows a little bit. If I can say anything about this with makeup wise, brows are so important. They frame your face. They can totally change your look of your face just by changing your brow shape just a little bit. I'm keeping my natural brow, but by filling it in, it just frames my face and it, I feel like it completes the look. If you don't have brows filled in, it doesn't complete the look. So I'm gonna just line my eyebrows and I'm gonna fill it in with Mary Kay's brow tint. All right, do you, do you see the difference between the finished brow and the not finished brow? That right there just shows you how important brows are. They're very important. Okay better so much better so next I like to take more concealer and I just like to kind of define the brow just a little bit more I take it take my concealer just under it take a cream brush and get it as close to my brow as I can Okay, so going back to the powder, I'm just taking a fluffy brush and blending it out. I feel like I need a little bit more. I can always go back in a little bit more powder. I just like to put it in the lid. And finish it off. Okay, moving on to eyes. I'm, again, keeping it very natural looking. I'm just going in with this liquid eyeshadow in the shade Light Beam. I love this because it's a primer and an eyeshadow in one, and I'm just taking a little bit on my eyelids, and I'm just going to take my finger and kind of blend that in. And moving on to the next eye. I love this, it's very natural, has a little bit of shimmer. Very pretty. So again, going natural, but for things to show off on camera, I need to go a little bit more bold. So to help define my eyes, I'm gonna go in with some of Mary Kay's Chroma Fusion eyeshadows and just kind of help define my eye a little bit more. So I'm gonna take this, this light brown here. It's called Hazelnut, probably one of my favorite. And get a little bit on my eyeshadow brush and I'm just gonna kinda go on the crease area. All right, and then I'm just gonna take like one of these um, angle crease brushes. I'm going to go in with this dark brown called Mahogany. And this is what's really going to darken, make it a little bit more bold so you can see it better. I'm just going to go in the very outer corner and make like a little triangle or V. And I'm just going to kind of build it to the desired darkness and then I'm going to blend. Looks scary right now, but remember, I'm gonna blend. 
So you see those harsh lines? By the time you're done blending, you should not be able to see those. So the last two colors, the hazelnut and the mahogany, I'm actually gonna bring down under my eye with a smudger brush. So I'm gonna take the darker brown mahogany and take it from the outer corner and bring it about a halfway. I'm gonna go back in with the lighter brown, the hazelnut, and finish off. The inner half all right and then to really kind of um, highlight my brow bone I'm gonna take this light biscotti and go just under the brow bone that's the eyeshadow look so I'm just gonna go in with my mascara Okay, now, for the blush, normally I said, you know, I'll use powder, but today I'm gonna finish it off with the blush using my cream blush, just pop it on my cheeks. And blend it out. Okay, I'm gonna finish up the lips. I'm adding a little pop of pink. It's still pretty neutral. Um, I feel like if you were to add a pop of color anywhere, do it on the lips. Natural eye, you can do a pop of color on the lips or a pop of color on the earrings or whatever if you want to have a little statement. Finish it all off and to make it last all day, so you have meetings in the morning and in the afternoon and you need to make it to last all day and look good. Finish it off with this setting spray. It's the best spray I've ever had. Again, Mary Kay. And that will make it set and stay all day. Okay, I'm gonna do my hair. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I finished my hair. I left it very simple, just straightened it, pulled it back a little bit. Um, just at the top and this is my go-to look for any uh, zoom or virtual meeting I actually have one tonight um that's why I decided to show you I started getting ready I'm like hmm why don't I show you what I do so this is it I hope you liked it please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have any other video requests that you would like to see please leave them down in the comments below and I would be happy to do it all of the products that I used tonight, except for a couple, um, like the mascara was limited edition. This is no longer available, but I can link another one of my favorites down below. So check out the descriptions. I'll have them all linked below where you can get them if you would like. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.